Number three is provide a flexible base for text. Now, picking up from where we left off uh, in guideline two, uh, we need to strive for using relative units to size text on the web, which allows users to adjust that text as necessary. Now, there are a few benefits to going this route, and one major uh, accessibility problem with sizing uh, text with pixels that we're going to talk about next. So sizing text with pixels, for instance, uh, setting font size 12 pixels, um, becomes a problem um, in Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer um, refuses to resize text that's set in pixels if the user uses the text size uh, widget on, in the browser. Um, this is a problem, and this is actually um, true uh, up through Internet Explorer version 8. Um, I think that the developers of IE uh, see the pixel as being a definitive unit that shouldn't be resized even if the user wants to resize it. But um, it's an accessibility problem because a lot of times people adjust text size. If the text is set too small, they want to adjust it with this uh, browser control and have the, the, the text expand. Now in Internet Explorer, if it's set with pixels, it won't expand. Uh, and that's a, that's a big problem, right? Um, so there are, all, are alternatives um, to sizing text with, uh, instead of sizing text with pixels, we can, we can do it uh, in a different way. We can use keywords, font size keywords, for instance. And we could use M's as well. So let's talk about both of those. So uh, font si sizing uh, text with font size keywords, uh, for instance, you could use uh, font size small on the body as a base. Um, and the, there's uh, different values. There's small, there's extra small, there's medium, large, extra large. And so uh, beyond that, we could use um, percentages to, to go up and down from the base. So if we set our base font size as small, we could use 120% above that or 150% above that to get larger sizes above the base. And similar, similarly, we could use uh, percentages lower than 100% to get sizes smaller than that base. So this is a relative uh, way of sizing uh, fonts. And uh, you know we talked about letting go of pix pixel precision. This is a kind of an extreme way of doing that. You're sort of just giving a ballpark uh, size to the browser via a keyword and then sort of assuming uh, that the user can adjust that as necessary. So. Um, text sized with keywords will resize in Internet Explorer properly. That's one of the benefits to it. Um, now we can make some adjustments. For instance, if we have a uh, set a base font size of small and then on a containing uh, wrapper div, for instance, around the whole layout, we can set 95% to shave it down a little bit. And what that does is actually roughly puts uh, the base font size at about 10 pixels for most browsers when they're set at the, the normal medium uh, font size setting. Now we can also um, set font size in M's using M's, M value, right? So for instance, there's a, uh, a pretty common way of doing 62.5% uh, on the body which roughly brings that down to um, 10 pixels. And that makes working with a uh, power of 10 easier. So for instance, if you do 62.5 uh, on the body, you can from there know that 1M, which is the current font size, is going to be around 10, 10 pixels. And 1.2M would be 12 pixels. Um, and 0.9, for instance, would be 9 pixels as well. So using M's, again, advantage is that users of all browsers, including Internet Explorer, can resize this text as they, as they need to. Now, another interesting part about using M's is that you can also apply this to widths, margins, and padding in, in the layout as well. So a width of 10M would be 100 pixels, for instance. A margin of 1M would be 10, uh, one, uh, sorry, 10 pixels. Um, and a border of 0.2M would be 2 pixels, right? So M's have their advantage. Uh, an interesting way of, um, of sizing type. And we just need to remember that using pixels is, is not terrible, but it, is, it has its accessibility problem in Internet Explorer. And unfortunately, it's still, that's still true today with Internet Explorer 8. 
um, that we just need to keep in mind that users aren't going to be able to uh, adjust that text size.